Hey guys, today we're gonna harvest stinging nettles together. This is one of my favorite healing plants. It grows everywhere and you're gonna learn three things in this video. Where you can find them, where to harvest them, when to harvest them, when is the best time and how to harvest them so you don't burn your fingers and you stay safe with what you eat. My name is Peggy Schirmer from PeggySchirmer.com. This is a channel called Gut Feelings where we support you to heal your digestion so you have all the vibrant energy you need to bring your gifts into the world and to really manifest your greatness. So let's get started. Here we are at the right spot where I harvest my nettles. To answer the first question, where to harvest your nettles? Nettles grow in almost any parts of the world. They prefer grounds which are a bit moist and often they grow on the edge of the meadow. I'm going to show that to you. So I'm here at the edge of a meadow and where they meet a forest. Yeah, so here we go. Here they are. See, the grass is getting bigger, but the nettles too. Ta -da! And guys, if you want to know more about the health benefits of the stinging nettles, I'm going to record a separate video, which I'm linking when it's ready right now here in the video. Make sure you check that out because nettles are so rich in nutrients and minerals. They just really, they are there to support you. They are for a reason such a common weed everywhere because they help us clean our body and so many more things against hay fever and autoimmune diseases. Just check out the video. So where to harvest them? is at the edge of a forest where they meet a meadow and where it's pretty moist and wherever you can find them really. So now guys, when to harvest them, second thing. And this is something that is important for all the things you harvest. May it be crops, may it be healing herbs. Every plant has a cycle. So you see, this is what we harvest. In the case of nettle, we harvest the leafy stuff that is above the earth. But there's also a root down the earth. Every vegetable, every plant has a root. And throughout the day, what happens when the sun rises in the morning, all the energy, all the nutrients, the plant water, it all goes up into the plant. And then during the evening, during the night, the life energy and a lot of nutrients, they retreat into the root. And this is the same as the cycle of the seasons. So the best time for harvesting nettles is in spring and in autumn, kind of a second spring for the nettle when they come again. If it's right now not autumn or spring when you see this video, you can harvest nettles anytime. Just know that in spring and in autumn, their healing power is the biggest. And the best time to harvest them during the day is in the early morning until lunch. Yeah, this is like the peak of the nutrient density, the peak of where the energy in the plant is the highest and where you get the most health benefits. Okay, it does make sense. Normally we are also more energized in the morning and then over the day our energy drops and we need some rest. Same with plants. And now we're going to come to the third, answering the third question, which is how to harvest stinging nettles. They are called stinging nettles for a reason, because they have little hairs that break off and they contain a toxin, which has some effects on our skin and it makes these kind of burning sensations for sometimes for hours, sometimes for days, depending on your body. There are two ways to harvest them. You can either use your hands or you can use a knife. I'm going to show you both. So I'm using my hands and there's a technique to do that. If people see me, they oh God, how are you doing that? But it's really easy. You just need to understand that and you're going to use always the same hand. So I'm going to swap over the camera. What you want to harvest here is the first pair, the second pair and the third pair of nettles. So, and then how to harvest them is you don't touch these parts here. Yeah, they are stingy normally. You want to just go for the stem. Yeah, can you see my hand here? And then you just do like that up right now. This is how I harvest them per hand. And you know, there are some varieties which are more stingy and some varieties which are less. Only want to harvest the upper part. Here, for example, use them in a salad. Also for tea, this is the best part. Okay, guys, now with a knife. So the way I harvest them is with a reusable <laughs> zipper bag. Then I have my special harvest knife. I'm going to show you my Opinel made out of walnut wood here. And this is an awesome knife. I have that for everything. I harvest, harvest with them. I'm using it in the kitchen. I just have this one knife, literally. You use the same approach. Yeah, you go to the plant. I'd say this is the one I want to harvest here. See that? Yeah. And then I go here and just basically cut it. I just have one hand now. So I'm going to do that like that. Yeah, like that. Chuck. And there you go. 
and you have your upper part, you have your free pairs and then put it in the bag and take it home. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I love to answer your questions about that. Check out the related videos about hay fever and nettles and also the health benefits of nettles and how to use them. And I see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.